for an hour. <laughs> Ready? Hey guys, welcome back to Sip and Dip with Chelsea and welcome to my new home in Maryland. This is my husband, Dominic. You guys have never seen him in person on my channel, but I have convinced him to come on my channel, help me build my new nail nook. This is the space. This is the before what you guys are seeing right now. And I got a new desk. I've got some new goodies to set up. So I thought it would be fun, catch up with y'all and build my new workspace. As much as I wanna jump into a life update, unfortunately, this video took a left turn for me and turned into something I wasn't expecting, which is a very big buyer's beware on this desk. I purchased it on Amazon from a third party seller and the top of the desk actually came really cracked. It had tons of scratches, cosmetic marks all over it. So I reached out to the seller, basically let them know what happened, sent them pictures, and it has been a nightmare ever since. They tried to offer me $20, and now mind you, the desk was $250. Every time I would reach out to them, they would try to offer me a little bit more hush money. So then I had to reach out to Amazon to kind of take it to claims on my behalf. Then finally, weeks later, it got resolved and my replacement desk finally arrived. I love this desk, do not get me wrong. But dealing with that, I do want to premise this video to make sure you understand what you're getting into, just in case if you fall in love with this desk too, because it was a total nightmare. You can see I do have another guest appearance. So this is Bubba. I've got my two favorite men here all in one video. And please make sure you stay to the end of this video so that you can watch the bloopers with my husband. He is just full of the shenanigans. As for the life update, we are all really loving it. We've gone exploring, we've done the beach, we've gone to the local Navy rec center, gymnastics, the library. I found a preschool for my youngest. I found my oldest, her elementary school, and I let her go take a peek around and explore. She got to meet some of the teachers. It has just been overall such an amazing experience. And this area of Maryland is so peaceful, you guys. I just can't get over it. The greenery, it's so quiet. Where I was at in Florida was pretty much just concrete and palm trees and very congested and very loud. So it's such a different change of pace here and I am all for it. So my youngest is going to be going to preschool five days a week, which has me really excited for my channel, meaning I think I'm going to be able to do more content, maybe some live videos. I plan to have my husband more on my channel. I'm going to be having him actually start doing my nails. I just have a lot of fun content coming up, but I'm also super nervous about her being away from me for five days. I've only done two days a week, so it's a lot of big mixed emotions. And speaking of big, this ginormous desk. So this is a two-person desk. I fell in love with it for this desk side right here, this desktop where you can see at the top, it has the area where my desktop will go. It's got the keyboard attachment here. It is such a huge storage and space saver type of desk. I love that it's got the plugs here up top too. Overall, I just really love the design of this desk. Unfortunately, my buying experience with it was terrible. So day two of Operation Nail Nook, you can see I have my computer set up there. Like I mentioned earlier, this is why I picked this particular desk because of the layout. It frees up so much counter space, which is gold for content creators. So I wanted to show you all some of the goodies I grabbed on Amazon. Everything will be linked down below. First up is this adorable pink mouse pad. It was like $5. So I'm going to set it up down here, grab my mouse, my keyboard, and we are done. Next up, I love these, you guys. They are so cute. They are mini succulent plants. Of course, y'all know I had to grab pink. They have white planters and then a gold marble accent. They have so many other colors not just that but I thought they were super cute affordable and they fit perfectly up here next to my computer I thought this little sticker here on the box was so cute and a nice little touch so this is also from Amazon it's a pink ceramic pen or pencil holder so I grabbed this because I thought it actually matched perfectly with those fake succulents you can see it has a gold accent here on the rim and a really pretty pink shade so I'm gonna have these up here next to my desktop for my pens and pencils 
I was in need of a new office chair, so I decided to switch things up from my normal black chair to a white. I thought it matched the desk really nicely, and it's just a pretty pop of clean next to the desk. You can see it has tons of padding. When I was shopping for chairs, I could not get over the prices, to be honest with y'all, so I thought this one was affordable. In comparison, it was about 80 bucks, and you can see super comfy. So shout out to Nails by Callie Marie. She got me onto this silicone mat. This is my second mat from Amazon. I decided to go ahead and just grab a new one when we moved, but I love it. It is so easy to clean. It protects your desk, and it's honestly a really great, clean, neutral backdrop for filming. Next up, I'm going to set up my gel lamp. So I decided to put it over here, still near me, but not over on the other corner because I didn't want it to cast a shadow where I film, but it's within arm's reach of when I'm working. So I also filmed a video about my organization a long time ago, and I still have pretty much everything set up the same. If you saw that video, you saw I also had a huge ordeal with getting these storage drawers, which were also from a third party seller on Amazon. Y'all know I am a glutton for punishment, apparently. I I guess I keep hoping things will change, but just buyer beware y'all. But I wanted to show you guys how I move these. So the military movers did move these for me. They wrapped them in blankets and I wanted to show y'all how I kept everything secure and everything inside. So the packers were really sweet and let me have some extra packing paper. So what I did was I basically wedged this packing paper up top just like that on top of every single drawer and then I closed it. That way there was no gap. There's nowhere basically for all of my products and tools for it to fly around or move. So that was my goal was to try to make sure everything stayed secure because it was going to be shaken up a whole lot on the truck on the ride up. So now this is my tools drawer. I went ahead and put everything in Ziploc bags. So I have them all in their little plastic organizers, which again, I talk a lot about in my last video, and I wanted to keep them all as they are. I did not want to have to unpack and then repack. So I basically put everything in bags so that didn't go flying around and get moved and jumbled. For the bigger organizers, I just use plastic grocery bags. So this is my dip powder organizer drawer and you can see I did the same thing. I shoved a ton of paper on top to make sure all of the dip powders weren't just flying around all over the place. Now what I think really helped as well with keeping them in place is actually this liner that I have underneath it. So here's the liner that I like to put underneath all of them that's on the bottom of every single one of these drawers. It helps things from sliding around not just from when you're moving but also every time you open and close that drawer it keeps the dip powder and your tools in place. So the military will not move liquid, so this one I had to move myself. So basically a few months before we got ready to move, I started to pay attention to the boxes I was receiving. You can see this one is a really shallow and not very tall box, which was perfect for my liquid. So this is my gel liquid box. I basically wanted to keep everything organized as is, so I kept brands together, colors together, the same way I would normally organize it just to help me when I go to unpack. And then I had some bubble wrap underneath and bubble wrap on top. I wanted to make sure everything was stored upright and that things weren't really moving around. So you can see I have it nicely packed really tight so it doesn't move. So here is my liquid organizer. I have two of these. Honestly, I could probably use one or two more. It's super inexpensive. I think it's about $16 on Amazon and it holds a ton. I love it. I cannot speak highly enough of it. I know a few of y'all have also grabbed it and also enjoy it too. You might be able to tell from my voice that I am getting over a cold. So I'm going to rest my voice here for a second, let y'all just zone out, watch me organize some liquids and I'll catch up in just a sec. So I am all done setting up my dip powder liquids and my organizer. I do my best to try to keep it organized by brand and then also by the liquid steps. So step one through four or however that brand organizes their liquid. I'm not too particular about it. So let's set up my cuticle oil. So when I moved them, I also kept these in Ziploc bags just so just in case so it doesn't leak. You can see I have a little tiny box here. I did my best to try to keep my products organized. That would be 
pretty much the easiest on me for unpacking. So normally I keep my cuticle oil stacked up on a shelf, but since I don't have my shelf up yet, I do have this makeup acrylic organizer. So I'm just gonna put it in here for now. I'm really not 100% sure yet how I wanna set up my nail nook. I wanna sit here and work a few times before I start putting up shelves. I want to see what feels most natural while I'm filming because I can tell you right now, I'm gonna move things around a lot. Thank y'all so much for coming and hanging out with me today in my nail nook. It's definitely a work in progress, but we're getting there. So I hope y'all enjoy these bloopers and have an amazing day. Howdy. <laughs> you have to put socks on. Dominic! <laughs> Welcome back, you beautiful You can't say that! <laughs> Okay, I have to believe that out. <laughs>